Hello, Leo. How are you? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. This is a general reading for your Leo placements for the week of January 18th through the 25th, I think. Leo, what's going on with you? Ooh, okay. Okay. Water element, reflection, kindness, and compassion. Doing a little reflecting this week. Definitely in your emotions. All right. You know what? I want one more. I do. Golden ratio, beauty, nature, and patterns. You are seeing the patterns. You're breaking a code. You're feeling your way through something using your intuition and seeing what? You're, you're seeing how kindness and compassion in the past, how it's expanded situations. You're definitely in reflection mode. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups, oh boy, with the Star card, and this wanted to come out, Ace of Cups, okay, interesting, all right, Knight of Pentacles, making plans and moving forward on those plans, you see the path of ahead of you is not going to be easy, but you're not daunted by this, one step at a time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if anyone is wondering where Raton is, he decided to be behind me today. Seven of Wands. You've learned. You've grown. You definitely know how to get to where you're going. You're not daunted by any challenges that lay in front of you. He, the look on his face. Let's see if it'll... Yep. Yeah, there we go. He's not daunted. He's like, yeah, bring it. Bring it on, baby. You don't know what's going to happen. Seven of Cups. Lots of choices to be made. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Mm -hmm. No wonder why you're reflecting. Star card. What is it that you truly want? What are you hoping for? Wise decision making. Mm, healing. Magic. Victory. Ace of Cups. Self-love, self-determination, embracing who you are, seeing the patterns because of the moon on top, see this, the ebb and flow of life of the tides, the moon, how it comes and it goes, how it's cyclical, beauty, nature, and patterns. You are definitely seeing that. Mm, you are seeing the patterns in nature, the patterns in life, the patterns in emotions, the patterns in, I think this might also be someone else, but you're looking at things and you're figuring them out. This is interesting. Seven of Swords, the Chariot, and the Magician. Who just had this? Cancer, I think. I think Cancer just had these. And if you know how I put cards together, I stagger them. And as I put them back in the deck and I shuffle very well. So you are looking over the past. If you have cancer or dealing with a cancer, you might want to place that. Um, watch that. You're looking into the past, but don't don't pass trip, okay? Because he's not looking where he's going. He's about to hit that column, but you're understanding that in order to move forward, you are going to have to be gentle and kind in these situations, all right? You're understanding that the the nature of kindness and compassion will get you for will get your forward movement much better. Be, yeah, yeah. Okay, chariot, self determination, self will, not giving up, hell bent, and on on where you want to go. She doesn't have any reins on her chariot. Her sphinxes that pull the chariot are made out of stone. She sees the duality in life and in nature. In order for one thing to be born, something else must die. She's not afraid, and she's flipping gorgeous. You're looking amazing, Leo. You're looking amazing. You are seeing that you have absolutely everything that you need to create this change. 
you are the magician this week. You have the power, you have the creativity, and you have the resources. If you don't, you know you can get them. Oh my God, the Empress, are you serious? Abundance, overflowing abundance because she's always creating. She knows that when she plants the seeds that there will be a harvest. She knows when to plant seeds again with the, the, the patterns and nature and the patterns. You're seeing the patterns of things. You're seeing the patterns of your own power. You're seeing the patterns of your emotions. You are digging deep and learning so many lessons right now. You're understanding the nature of the struggle. What? And that in hindsight, it was well worth it. The hermit, what did I tell you? Reflection, you are going within. The snake on the walkway in front of him, he's seeing his own power clearly and truly for the first time in a long time. You are finding something within yourself that you haven't seen in a very long time. What's on the bottom? Knight of Swords, Ace of Wands, King of Cups, and Two of Swords. No, we want that one. Seven of Pentacles. You've come as far as you can go in a specific situation in the direction in which you're trying to get there. You understand that you had to switch tactics, switch gears, switch paths to move forward. You saw it. You're moving forward. You saw the path forward. King of Cups in charge of your emotions. The waves are crashing all around him, but he's not daunted by that in the least. Definitely watch the Cancer reading. Two of Swords, going on your intuition, knowing the cycles again with that full moon, understanding the cycles, feeling your way through, trusting that you will come out the other side. And that's at the base of the reading. Now, reflection, going within seeing your own true power. Four of Swords, healing, more reflection. The soldier goes off to war, but before he leaves, he purchases his casket, just in case. He comes back alive, he lays upon his casket, he thinks about everything that has happened, the Three of Swords above him, and he's receiving a healing for the Ace of Swords below him. He's laying on the truth, he understands what it took to get to where he is. This is an amazingly beautiful card, resting, rejuvenating, water element, reflection, kindness, and compassion toward yourself as well as others because you've been through so much. You're seeing the patterns and how things actually come to life in the reality, as above, so below, but you're making a much deeper connection both with nature, in, the, in mankind, in within yourself. This is mind-blowing. Okay. Wow. Congratulations, Leo. That's all I'm saying. Take time out this week to be kind to yourself, to nurture yourself, to allow yourself to delve into your emotions and, and flow with the water, right? The water of your emotions. See the beauty in yourself, in your nature. See the beauty in your own nature reflection and, and kindness to see the patterns in order to see the patterns in ourselves and others and in nature we must be kind and allow them to be what they are major arcana number two this is your guidance for the week um, if you get anything out of this, please do hit that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Join us during a live. Get a free for question in or just watch your signs. Okay, the maiden. Number two, fertility, independence, self-esteem, confidence, self-expression, self-exploration, self-interest, sexuality, creativity, selfishness, codependence and timidity follow your dreams 
discover your passions. Focus on self-discovery. You certainly are. Address any self-imposed limits and restrictions. Increased independence. Seek your own answers. Release feelings of fear and abandonment. Craving attention. Needing rescue. Express goals and desires. Be true to self and acting with empathy. You are going so deep. You are going so deep. You are discovering parts of yourself that have been long forgot. Amazing. Okay, Leo, I hope to see you soon. You know I love you. Peace to you. Ciao.